Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks especially for taking the time to subscribe, for becoming members, and for all the support that you guys and gals are giving the channel. If you're coming by here and you're checking out the videos, you're definitely supporting the channel, and I really appreciate that. I do this full time. I like showing you guys uh, a whole lot of stuff on the moon and uh, UFO sightings. I was lucky enough to be able to capture that and have a lot of documentation on the channel about it. Not getting enough attention of it about it for sure on it. Like the video should be viewed by more people. I wish that more people would view the videos, but I sure do appreciate the ones that stop by. How about an exceptional video? This is an incredible video. And we're gonna see the moon, um, pretty sure like you've never seen it before. Very clear, I've magnified, zoomed up even closer. It's, it's you know, you have to get a clear surface if you wanna zoom up, that's for sure. There's no two ways about it, okay? The limit of the magnification depends on the atmosphere disturbance, depends on everything. Take everything into consideration. This is Aristarchus Crater. Yeah, guys and gals, we have an amazing video. We're gonna go see nothing but the surface and, and all the colors and the browns that are appearing on the moon it's sort of freaking me out so we're gonna go back a little bit all the way to the summer and you'll see the big difference with uh mayor Christian, for example um here's copernicus crater coming up eratosthenes in the bottom at the end of the apennine mountains over to the right you can see there it looks like a duck head or an ostrich head that crater on the right and Coming up, Copernicus on top. We're gonna to go see Mercurium with a green surface. We're gonna go see Mercurium with a brown surface. So I'm documenting it now and marking the dates. If ever that moon comes back to being green, we'll be able to document when that happens and we'll analyze all the differences and characteristics of the surface each moon phase in each month. Every chance I get to get up there to see what the color looks like for whatever the reason. Maybe taking weather into consideration too. Yeah, definitely not an easy task, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, some of these, um, near the end of the video, you'll see a close-up that I've never gotten that close before. It's exceptional and a nice close-up of Tycho Crater too. Thanks for watching everyone. Look at the browns. When you see uh, the colors get really intense, you'll see the light dim down, and that's because I'm bringing the exposure down. Maybe they're going to work just like we do here. Sick people in hospitals, presidents, election days, maybe even parks, who knows. Looks are deceiving, I'll tell you that. Apollo 11 landing area and uh, Apollo 17 landing area, and that's Mons Argeus over to the right. And look how Mary Embryum's always blue, but no, it isn't always blue. Mare Serenitatis, where it goes from completely green to completely brown and here you can see both greens and browns all around Bessel Crater along that white line there. Oh look, another rectangle on the moon. where the Apennine Mountains meet Eratosthenes Crater, the highest elevated point on the moon, the Apennine Mountains. Look at all the browns.
Apollo 17 declared landing site right beside Mons Argeus, right inside the circle here. Look at all the details. Russian spies. No, I don't know. Just an anomaly. Mysterious objects flying by all the time. I catch so many of them. Here's a towering object, or it looks like a shadow, towering shadow beside Plato Crater. And we're gonna go see it, um, hey, well here we are, beside the Terminator line, there's the Terminator line, and there are the elevated objects. And now let's go see it not beside the Terminator line. Here we can see Aristarchus with Browns at the back on the high ridge, but in the center and beside Aristarchus crater and elsewhere, we could see a lot of greenery on the surface. And look at the Browns starting to form up the back. Mare Fecunditatus, Endymion crater, right beside it, that big white crater. Look at the intense dark forest greens. Yep, forest greens, just the color. But look at the difference with this green. Um, well, hold on, there's a green there. where That's where, all there, look, it just so happens there's green and blue showing up where the Apollo 11 moon landing was, supposedly, and a lighter green olive green inside of Mare Serenitatis.
the images that I started showing four or five years ago when I first captured the constellation of Orion and the great nebulae and all, every single star in that constellation that I could see, close up, far away, color, black and white. I've done all the images. Look at the beautiful image. This is what it looks like, the constellation of Orion in the winter here, seen from Montreal in California. If you guys want to try to capture it, probably even nicer. I heard it was red, intense red colors. Depending on what country you're in, they're very different. Got some amazing images of um, the constellation also of Lyra, Leo, Virgo, um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, a bunch of constellations and double binary systems documented a lot of suns in the constellation. Look at that. Inside the constellation of Lyra. Um, it, the, you know, there's a lot of suns as big as our sun and even bigger, uh, actually far bigger than the sun that's in our solar system or as big for sure. Here's a few of them all documented up. I'm the one that um, got all those shots on top that you see there along the anomalies too, all inside the constellation of Lyra. Check this out. Isn't that incredible? Binary system. Two stars, you say? No, there's like 50 stars there. You can hardly see that one there. There's another one in the center there. Another planet-sized object over on the corner. I'll bring the circle down right there. And all around those two stars, there are like 20, 30, 40 other objects. The more you zoom in, the more you can see. It's absolutely incredible. And these are all astrophotography shots that I've captured myself. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for the support. If it wasn't for my amazing community, this channel wouldn't even exist. Thanks a whole bunch, everyone. I really appreciate it. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>